Hey guys, uh, learn how to add Google custom search engine in your Python app with an easiest way. Guys, if you don't uh, subscribe our channel yet, then please go to and subscribe to our channel. And after that, press bell icon for never miss another update from us. So here is the Python code which I have uh, which I have write in description also. So in this uh, first we have a uh, two library which is pp print and google api client for python so uh, this key, uh, this two library is needed for an uh, uh, python app okay after that there is two id which is the one is my api key and one is the my cse id okay so these two id which will uh, given by on the google so how i how we can find that id uh, let's show so first we will see how to find api key so api key is uh, nothing but uh, one is uh, one of the google api uh, apis provide that api key here you have to just uh, open one of your project from google and after that you have find your api keys listed below uh, one server key and browser key will be uh, uh, will be there after that you have to uh, you can uh, you can create multiple keys uh, keys by going here uh, where you have find this api key in the in the create credentials after that you have find your new api key and that you can use anywhere else okay so uh, now we are going to see how to uh, how to find search engine key okay so there is uh, this is the csc.google.com uh, where you have to just uh, create new search engine and uh, hit to the just create button after the give name so here i already created one so i'm going to just uh, open that oldest one okay so here i have created a google search engine with the name of google open not i created one so here in the detail section in the basic uh, tab we have a search engine id so when you click in this button search engine id you have get one id so that id you have, you have to copy and paste into your python code okay so there is a two option also uh, one is image search and another is speech input if you make an uh, ai bot or something then you can uh, allow speech input as well okay. after that in that python code you can see here if we uh, here i have a one defined function uh, called google search name where we uh, where i have a four parameters one was search terms and another second one is api key third one is a csc key and fourth one is a uh, fourth one is an um, actually it is a digit uh, which uh, or i mean uh, with that four pyramid you can get how how much list you want to search okay and after that there is a service uh, variable where this uh, where that will be built in our custom search and there is a resource uh, which is uh, put all parameters in the our in our search engine and find and get get required uh, and get result from that json okay so and after that it will be written with an resource items okay so there is this is the result variable which is called uh, which is uh, calling google search function where uh, where my search term is what is python and my api key is the given above my csi id is given above and num is equal to 2 okay so which is given to parameter km rgs okay. after that it will be uh, print the result uh, so how the result will look let's see on the terminal okay so here this, uh, when i ever run this python file it will be default uh, search what is the python and it will be show result in a result in a uh, in a whole uh, a whole data file where you can uh, where you can't uh, easily find your required content so you can see here there is a whole uh, strings and data of json as available so if you uh, if you want to filter your data like title link and description uh, things so you can use this uh, six code line 
foreign uh, foreign filter that data so i am just uh, comment that uh, result line and uh, uncomment this six line okay so here is you can see uh, title link and description which is fetched from title formatted url and snippet from the da json data okay so and then it will be print in those three variable like title link and description after saving this it will be show result in a proper manner or you can you can find your required data okay so here i have entered python google.py so here i have seen that three result because we have we have entered two so this will be show three result include zero one and two so my first result is this uh, where i have uh, this title and uh, then second this link and third one is description so in the description uh, this uh, json will be sh show link image link or all things so this will look uh, messy so if you don't want to uh, if you don't want that kind of content then you have to mo add more filters okay so yeah this is the whole thing you can uh, add or you can after that you have to just uh, print these things to your web page or your application page or one thing you have to keep in mind to install google api python client within this page so thanks for watching guys please uh, like share and subscribe this channel or